hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you how to make this cute knitted socks using adi knitting machine so here we go i am using just yarn plush by premiere it is a fuzzy yarn i got from the dollar store and it is a medium four that's the size of the yarn and i also need our needle with a big eye and scissors so let's get started i am taking my 22 pin needles knitting machine so i'm going to restart it first we are going to cast on make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button Alright, so now that I cast on, I'm going to start. I need to make 135 rows. So let's go. It's actually hard at first, but after the first round, it's going to be so smooth. And my baby decided to join my little crafting for today. So here he goes. He's going to help me. Alright, so I'm going to slow it down now because we are almost in our 135 round. So 134, now I only need one more round. There we go. Now I'm going to cut my yarn. Just cut a good length of your leftover yarn and then put your yarn in your big eye needle and do your cast off. I know most of you already know how to cast off so let's go. And there we have it. I'm just going to pull that one on the other end and I'm going to show you how to finish it off. So this is the other end. I already pulled it out. This is where we cast off. So I'm just going to run a stitches so we can close the end of our socks which is our toe part. This is our toes. And then just hide the yarn. Just so I switch into the color mustard, so it's easy for you guys to see. So I'm going to pull this one. It's easier to see than the red one. So I am closing the other end. And just run a stitch to close it and then I'm going to show you guys a couple options for your socks for the top of the sock so it doesn't fall off your legs this size is good for small small women size although the yarn is stretchable the top of the socks is just good enough for small size
now let's work on the top of your sock so you see this one we usually just pull it out if we're making a hat but this time we are not going to pull that end of the yarn we are just going to stitch it into that side just to secure it otherwise it's gonna fall through and then you'll have a drop stitch so just make a knot on that side this is the easiest way to make the sacks out of the adi plus this yarn is so warm i was planning to make a bear with it but i accidentally made the socks instead and it's cute so i'm going to flip my socks inside out because our knot is right there in the top there we go and now see how the top is like loose it's so loose when you put it in your legs it's actually gonna fall off so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get my hook if you don't know how to crochet you can just grab a ribbon or a lace to go just put anything to hold your socks on so i'm just gonna chain 70 for me but if you're a little bit bigger maybe you want to do 100 chains All right, I have made my 70 chains. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to put it through the socks. I'm just gonna run it like how you run a stitches because the sacks has like holes but when you put the sacks on it's the holes are not even visible just like that you can also use a ribbon and do the same while i'm showing you how to do this i'm gonna tell you guys that i used a pom-pom that I bought from Amazon and I split it into half and then made a smaller pom-pom for the socks and it's cute because one pom-pom is actually big like the pom-pom we use for our hats it's actually like so big for the socks so I I just cut it in half and then run a stitch on it and turn it to a smaller pom-pom so you have a pom-pom options or the lace what I did for my lace is I just sew it on the top and I'm probably gonna put some string to it too so it doesn't fall off. It holds a little bit because of the stitches from the lace but it still fall off a little. It's a little bit loose. So here it is. I finished my tie and there's the pom pom that I made. I cut it into half. See how it's smaller? It's smaller from the original one so I'm just gonna run a couple of stitches into the pom-pom and there you have it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and like this video
Bye guys, see you soon.